Hi world! It's me, Elizabeth Deferia. I'm here to talk to you about an amazing gift that we receive when we give ourselves to God. It is the gift of freedom. We are free. We are set free of the bondage of Satan's grasp, of the evilness in this world, and of our own sinful nature. We are born into this world with sin, in sin, and um, it is in us to do um, evil things. We have the nature to hurt people and um, do things that we feel sometimes we don't even know is right, sometimes we don't even know is wrong, we just do it because it's a part of our sinful nature, but I just want to let you know that we are free. We are set free when we surrender ourselves and surrender our life to Jesus. It's just an amazing feeling. Um, for me, I was I was trapped in the sin of alcoholism, of drug use, um, of lust and pride and selfishness, and I didn't realize and I didn't really care that I was hurting people around me and I was hurting myself. And I didn't realize that I was trapped in um, Satan's grasp. And it's it's not a good feeling, you know, like the world says that we're free, that we, that we're free, uh, freedom of speech or freedom of rights or whatever it is that we're free of, but we don't ever look within ourselves and realize, uh, the freedom or the, um, the lack of freedom that we have with our strongholds and God can break those chains and break those strongholds that we have. And I can tell you that I am a completely different person than I was just even a few years ago. I was partying and I really did not care about anything that was around me. And don't get me wrong, I loved my family and everything, but when people would try to confront me about my um, problems with alcohol or um, marijuana, I was in denial about it and I didn't care because I didn't think that it was something that was wrong. But really it was, it, it had me under its grasp. I was bound by it. I did it every day. And um, it changed me. It changed me as a person and I wasn't my true person, the person that I was created to be. We all have this amazing potential and this amazing greatness within us, but the world and being um, swallowed up by the world doesn't allow us to step into that full potential. And I just want you to let you know that it's so freeing when you just let go and let God. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that are afraid to let go of having control with your with with your life. You know, I thought that I was in control. I, I like to be in control of my life, but really, we don't have control of our lives. We don't have control of life or death, so really, we don't have control at all. Um, what we do have is a gift of free will. You know, we can choose to do whatever we want, but is what we're doing, is what we want to do, is it right? And I just, today I was with my mentor and we were doing, we're doing a study on the fruits of the spirit. And the fruits of the spirit is amazing. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, fruitfulness, gentleness, um, not fruitfulness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And really the root of it all is love. And, um, you know, there's the Ten Commandments and everything, and there's those laws. But really, in the New Testament, Jesus says the greatest commandment is to love Him and to love others like you love yourself. And when we love, you know, God is love. When we love, we're not hurting people. We're not hurting ourselves. When we love, all the fruits of the spirits line up. We have joy. We have peace. We have patience and kindness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. And self-control, I was thinking about it today, like self-control is, you know, um, what we're consuming within ourselves, what we're giving out with our words. And if we have love in our heart, then we're going to love our bodies. We're going to treat our bodies right. And we're going to treat others right. And we're going to love people, you know? So it's like love is a key thing. And just the freedom of, of when I surrender to God, when I surrender to Him, and the freedom of being like set free of those just grasps of the sinful nature that I was in.
it's just indescribable when you are set free from it. You know, and I didn't realize I had a problem, but I really truly did. And I really was trapped. I was imprisoned within myself. And now I'm set free. And it's a process every day to, um, you know, look in within myself and, and do good, good changes and positive changes that I need to do in my life. And it's like the best adventure ever. <laughs> and I just, I feel more fulfilled living and being, and being guided by God and the Holy Spirit and just having that truth within me and just loving and having love, you know, and I just want to let you know that you can have that freedom. You can have that freedom of being set free from your past, of being set free from the pain of your past and the abuse and and the drugs and the alcohol and the negative words and, and the negativity. And you could be set free from it. I'm so serious. And it's seriously amazing. It's, I can't even tell you how amazing it is. And just being with God and being a part of Him and having Him be a part of you and having him be in me has been the most awarding gift that I've ever had in my whole life and I wouldn't trade it for the world I don't want the world I don't want to go back to that and just to let you know when you're set free there's still that those desires within us because we're still human we still have sin in us um, we're not going to ever be perfect but we can strive to be and the more that we um, look to God and seek Him and seek the truth, the more His character builds within us and His character is the fruit of the Spirit. You know, it's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, um, self-control. And it's just amazing. And I just want to let you guys know that you guys can have that gift too. And it's for everyone. God wants us to be free. And it's, it's just... It's awesome. So I just want to let you guys know that you can be free and not in a worldly way, but set free from the, the spiritual battle that's going on within us and, and choose the, the winning victory, victorious side because it's amazing. And God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you. And I just hope and pray that those of you that are listening to this and watching this have something growing inside you, maybe tugging at your heart to do a change, to do a drastic change. And don't be afraid of it because you have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And what you're going to gain is more rewarding and more fulfilling than you could, than a substance or than a food or a drug or anything. It's so much more fulfilling and it's you'll be stepping into your full potential and to the person that you were created to be. And it's, <laughs> it's awesome. So I love you guys and peace.